resist movement really is just a bunch of individuals. So it can pop up, it doesn't have to be. There's a happy person who loves us. This was the scene this last Saturday at the corner of Highland and Kickapoo Street as members of the Shawnee Uprising Resist Trump Movement gather for a peaceful, organized protest. Uh, we are people who believe in the power of people, and we see that all around the world, literally, when people get out to make their political thoughts known, change does happen. Resist Trump member Donna Schoenkopf says that it's not just about standing against President Trump, it's also about promoting a more accepting social atmosphere. Well, we're here because we are um, a part of a resist movement, which is uh, pretty diametrically opposed to all the things Trump is wanting to have happen in our country. And we're trying to defend uh, what we think is a better life and is not based on fear and hate, that it's based on the opposite, which is peace and love. Although the protests last Saturday never turned violent and appeared to be perfectly legal, there are still rules that protesters must obey before they take to the streets. No matter what disagreements take place, it is still the right of the people to protest, as long as it's legal. I'm Jason Berger with Shawnee's News 30.